Hi guys, um, so I'm going to go over unit one with you. Uh, so some of you are having some difficulties. So this is Google Classroom and this is the unit one slide. So what I just added for you is a unit one slide show that has the actual um, readings in here. So if you click on that slideshow, you will have what is STEM the entire uh, reading part. If you don't want to follow along with the readings, then you can click here. This is the audio itself with the um, podcast. Okay, so as you go through, this is also the podcast that you can listen to with headphones as you go through it. Uh, Miss Martin is going to grab some headphones from my room if you want to put them on and uh, listen to them. So this is what you're setting and what you will be able to do. And each chapter is broken down. So it kind of lets you know what's going on in each chapter and the um, flashcard words that are going to be in your quizzes. Okay, so you're gonna go through and listen to the podcast or read through uh, what each slide has to say because these slides are going to give you the base knowledge for to do the assignments okay so let's uh, look at your assignments okay um, your knowledge check is the first assignment the questions are here so you can look at the questions first answer them, and then go do the check. A little helpful hint, if you go into the eDynamics platform, you can do the knowledge check there, uh, figure out which answer is the right answer, and then go to the knowledge check that I have, and then you'd already have the right answer. Then you would get, a, you know, 100% without trying. So um, that's just a little uh, trick on how to do the knowledge check um, without too much trouble. Your first assignment is your critical thinking questions. And um, basically what you're doing is you're looking at the questions and you are answering them based on the slideshows. Okay, so explain what each letter in STEM acronym stands for, how do these components of STEM link creatively to uh, promote innovation. So STEM is science, technology, and engineering and math. And basically they link to promote innovation because together they create products um, that people want or need, all right? And then applying STEM principles to agriculture has resulted in various advancements. Explain how these advancements have been used to solve problems in agriculture. So think about the slideshow and when we did the chapter on STEM in agriculture. Okay, right here, chapter two. That whole chapter gives you all of the information that you needed. So early farming, modern farming, self-driving tractors, drones, sustainable farming, so you can choose any of these to um, discuss, okay? So any of that will help you answer that question. Then number three, STEM has been uh, integrated into medical technology. Explain at least two ways that these advancements and innovations have been used to improve healthcare. So let's talk about that. So talk about vaccines, right? So then you're going to go to back to the slideshow and that's chapter three. So in chapter three, we talked about STEM and medicine. All right. And then there's pattern recognition, collaboration, communication, critical thinking, and then you have your um, vaccines. So this is one thing that you could talk about for sure. And then here's another one. So this is two, this is vaccine. So this is one that you could talk about. And then these are one of these would be another one that you could talk about.
Okay, so that is number answers to number three. And then number four, how have humans needed to create, be, to be creative and develop technology that meets specific or general needs? So give one example that supports your answer. So then go back to the slideshow, and that is STEM careers. Okay, so how is STEM work? How are they creating technology right here, technology in what we need? Okay, so you could use any of these right here. Driverless cars, mobile app, cloud, cloud, the cloud. Okay, so you can mention those. And then imagine that you joined a career and tech student organization. What are some roles you could perform in this organization? How would joining benefit you in the future? So in the slideshow, that is mentioned right here. Okay, so on slide 41, um, STEM careers, long way off, but there is a CTSO group um, taking on a role. These groups can help you learn more about uh, careers in STEM. You could lead a project, keep track of schedules. Okay, the answers are all right here in the slideshow. Okay, so that is the critical thinking questions. All of it goes back to the slideshow. And um, so the first slideshow that was in there was a little sparse. I apologize for that. So I've added the other one to make that easier. Okay, the next assignment is unit one activity. Unit one activity is what do I want to learn? So what you're thinking about is you're just answering these reflection questions. You can do it right on this page. If I did not make you a copy of this, what you would do is make go to file, make a copy, put your name on it, and then upload that to Google Classroom. So what do I already know about STEM careers? So tell me what you know. What STEM careers would you like to learn more about? Um, what are my strengths and weaknesses that I need to consider? And then what resources and activities can help you find answers? These are in your head questions. You can always refer back to the um, PowerPoint. But again, these are just, there's no right or wrong answer here. So just do write the answers down, okay? So then, um, mm -mm -mm. You can write them, you can just write them here. You don't, you just can write, answer the questions right here. You don't have to do any of that other stuff, okay? You don't have to make a recording or audio file. You can just write them here. I'm okay with that, okay? No reason to make a poster or any of that. You can, you can. Um, the more creative you get with it, the better your points, um, but you can just answer them. That is 100% okay with me, okay? Uh, next assignment is activity two. This is Tinkercad, okay? So I'm going to make a separate video for Tinkercad um, so that you uh, get a better understanding and it's gonna take a little while to do that. So on this assignment, I want you to do these 10 things. So I am looking for 10 pieces, um, 10 assignments, and I'm what, how I'm grading that is 10 um, projects, however many you do, divided by 10 times 4 is what your score is. So that is what I'm submitting. If you give me a screenshot that I don't have to go look for your Tinkercad assignment um, in our Tinkercad classroom. If you, if I go to Tinkercad classroom, I need to know that who is who. If you have an unusual name in there, then I don't know who is who. So um, unless you tell me which name is yours, I have no way of grading it correctly. So um, that could be a problem. And then finally, uh, do the quiz, but please don't do the quiz until after you've done 
the other assignments or at least read the material um, because otherwise you're going to do a quiz more than once. All right. So I will do a separate video for Tinkercad and then um, hopefully this helps. All right. Good luck.